I frickin' called it. We should essentially just call this one the shipping episode because that's pretty much the entire reason as to why this one exists. What more can I say about it other than the fact that it confirms Jack and Ashi as a couple? The internet certainly seems to be handling it well. Everybody falls in love somehow. Well, allow me to share my thoughts on the subject. I'm not big on shipping. Those of you who've followed me for a while now already know that I don't ship characters because it's just something that I don't really enjoy doing. But when a pairing is made canon within the context of the show itself, I'll still support it if I like the chemistry of the two characters. This is something that I secretly had a feeling about for the longest time. I just knew that the two of them would form a bond over the course of their travels that would eventually lead to something more, and the way they've teamed up in previous episodes was really starting to sell me on the idea. I get it, a lot of people wanted to see the two have more of a father and daughter relationship. That's fine, I wouldn't really have a problem if the show went that route either. But when it ultimately comes down to it, this is what Gendy imagined. I'm going to respect what he wanted for the series because it's his creation. If other people can't deal with the fact that Jack and Ashi are a thing now, that's on them. I fully support this decision and I'm not going to lose my mind over it. The idea of a romantic relationship between Jack and another hero of some sort never really crossed my mind because he's been all by himself for the majority of his travels. Other than the Scotsman, Jack is typically a loner when it comes to his individual lifestyle. He rarely opens up to other characters because he likes to keep to himself. Are there serious problems with this show now that the two of them are a couple? Uh, not really. There's only two episodes left. It's not like this is going to be a long and drawn out arc that goes nowhere. It's perfectly fine if you ask me. The introduction to this episode establishes how an arbitrary alien spaceship manages to get knocked out of its current transport route and sent into a collision course headed straight for the planet Earth. There isn't much background given on what this ship is exactly. Later on in the episode it's explained that this is a transport vessel that's taking dangerous alien specimens to some unknown location, but other than that it's pretty ambiguous. None of the crew members are ever seen once Jack and Ashi climb aboard and anything that could have been living there has all but abandoned it. Which isn't to say that this is a bad thing because the information isn't completely necessary to comprehend the story. The events are pretty contained to what happens after the collision anyways. We then find ourselves witnessing Jack and Ashi as they travel through a desert bazaar akin to the likes of Mos Eisley and Mos Espa from Star Wars. The scene where Jack eats the alien food and his head turns into a weird fish-like figure because of Ashi's reaction is priceless if you ask me. Most likely because I'd have the exact same reaction in a situation like this. When we see the two of them hop aboard this giant alien camel, there's a strong shift in the mood as it distinctly changes to some sexual tension that just becomes impossible to bear. <laughs> So many moments of silence fill time as the two's eyes dart back and forth and awkwardly try to grab the bar without touching each other's hands. You know, the typical awkward lovey stuff. The room seemingly fills with a bunch of these green tiger dudes who force the two of them to get uncomfortably close to one another. A little too close if you ask me. Oh, something's poking me. Oh, I'm so sorry. No way, they did not just do that. Jack, Jack begins to notice that... Um, I'm sorry, I, I just can't get over that they did that. They actually did that. Jack begins to notice that the tigers are acting a little strange and not long after they begin to attack. This fight scene is pretty cool because it's another instance of the two of them working together instead of splitting up and going their own paths. It further cements how well the two of them work together and is all around a pretty good battle. The choreography seemed to work as each of them sought to fight while protecting the other, so I can give this my signature seal of approval. After a decent amount of fighting, the two manage to escape from the camel's back and end up hoofing it now that they've lost their transport in a montage sequence that shows us the sheer beauty of the desert that they're traveling across. The same compliments that I've given the landscapes in previous videos still hold true here, so there's not much more that needs to be said. The remainder of the episode takes place in the same alien spaceship that was seen crash landing at the beginning of the episode. I don't think very much needs to be said about anything else that really happens because it's relatively simple when it comes down to it. Jack and Ashi just get lost while trying to traverse the ship when they find an alien parasite chasing them, and they eventually have to defeat it before it kills them. When the couple first stumbles upon the signs of this parasitic beast, Ashi gets infected by a singular leech, which Jack easily saves her from by sucking the venom out of her leg the same way one would do when bitten by a rattlesnake. Their first encounter with the alien leech monster doesn't go so well, as seen when it continues to regenerate despite all of the efforts that Jack and Ashi have to go through to try and take it down. This monster design is kinda interesting I have to say. I always enjoyed the concept of smaller creatures forming together to create bigger monsters as seen in episodes like Nano of the North from the Powerpuff Girls and Operation Cats from Kids Next Door. Overall I'd give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. 
It's pretty cool. After escaping the foul creature, the two stumble upon a weapons vault where Jack discovers some sort of alien device that was created for the sole purpose of containing the monster in case of a security breach. Weapon sequence initiating directions follow. Step one. Sorry. And only after that, proper weapon initializing sequence can Lazarus 92 be terminated. Wait, what? Damn it, Ashi. Nah, but in all seriousness, I laughed at that part. It was pretty well timed. Jack grabs the circular disc, and the two of them make a run for it to go and find that leech monster so they can take it down once and for all. But unbeknownst to Ashi, Jack still can't figure out how to work the damn thing when the monster is a mere seconds away from drowning them in parasites. Want to know the coolest thing about this episode, though? Watch this clip. Did you catch that? Isn't that just the coolest thing? The two come into contact with the leech monster once again and fight it down to the wire, with Jack activating the device at the very last instant so that it can save them in the nick of time. With both of them safe and the vile creature destroyed, the two are put at ease and seal the episode off with a kiss, satisfying many shippers across the internet and upsetting many others in the process. Like I said, I'm in full support of this relationship being an actual thing. A subplot about a relationship such as this works for me because time was taken to establish the two characters. Some people wanted the two to have more of a father-daughter relationship, and I get that, but we've spent enough time with Ashi to understand who she is. She's come a long way since the first few episodes, and now we see that with how dynamic she's become. As a whole, episode 99 was on the same level as all the others, but that's to be expected at this point coming from me. However, with only two episodes to go in the series, I'm left to wonder what else is planned to appear before the end of the show. I mean, we still haven't seen anything from the Scotsman since episode 96, and there doesn't seem to... Hello. What's this? On the next episode of Samurai Jack. I know this place. Hunt! <laughs> Watch out!